Hello, everyone. So yesterday, Rick Spielman got uh, extended through the 2020 season. And, you know, some people like Rick. Some people have been uh, highly critical of Rick Spielman and want him fired. But And he seems to struggle with the whole adding talent to the offensive line. But overall, he's gotten a lot of talent around the team in general. If you look around, you have Thielen, Diggs, and uh, Rudolph and – is currently still on the team. You got Dalvin Cook, uh, even though he didn't draft Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins, even though once again people highly critical of, but has talent. And then you go to the defensive side where you got Linval and Daniel Hunter and Everson Griffin, Anthony Barr, Eric Kendricks, Xavier Rhodes, Harrison Smith, Harris. He's he's built a very talented roster, and as a whole, it's a good roster. And they have worked together to keep this very good roster intact. And they've done well. Obviously, once again, Barr was re-signed this past, like, you know, this this offseason. And then you also have Kendricks and, you know, all those guys. They all got deals. And does he deserve the extension? I think he does deserve an extension. But I do think there's a much more important thing at hand here. That it's now that both he and Mike Zimmer are extended through the 2020 season. And that's important because I think they're now in lockstep with each other. And they, this could, this is a very crucial season in general after, you know, 2017 going to the NFC Championship game to fall into 8 7 and 1 this past season. So. If they were to miss the playoffs again, if one of them were to get fired, I think their fates are kind of locked together. And if you won't see one gone without the other gone, and vice versa, if they make the playoffs and they go far, you know, things like that happen and they want to extend one, I think they're going to extend the other after that. So, and I think this brings up a, a fun little question of, does it matter of how far they go into the playoffs? Because, you know, Chicago's a very good football team, right? They won the division last year. They're the reigning NFC North champs. So one would think, after Minnesota's disappointing year, um, I bet the media, as some people probably don't, don't really like just mentioning the media, but I know the media people probably aren't going to be picking Minnesota to be winning this division, which means if they are correct – well, if the mass public is correct, Minnesota's going to be fighting for a five or a six seed. Now, if they get five or six seed and they have to go on the road and, you know, play in Seattle or whatever it may be, and they lose in the wild card round, should things change? Should they be? Because that's a debate because, once again, they went all the way to the NFC Championship game with a roster that included Case Keenum. And a lot of people view Kirk Cousins as an upgrade to Case Keenum. So if you got to the NFC Championship game with Case Keenum and went 13-3 and with Case Keenum, then you should be able to get at least back to that point with Kirk Cousins. And if you can't even get past the wild card round in his second year, and in his first year you don't even make the playoffs, should there be changes? And you can make a strong argument for that because, once again, you're talking about a a star-studded roster with players just across the board. And if you can't even make it past the wild card round, maybe there should be some changes. Maybe you should see some things go in and go out. Although, necessarily, Zimmer's thing is defense. And the Zimmer defense last year, even though it wasn't as good as it was the year prior, still wasn't necessarily bad. And I guess that's the one thing people will point to if they don't, because I doubt that's going to be bad next year as well. And I think regardless of how you answer the question, I really do think that both of the fates are locked in together now. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I really don't, because if once, if they fail, they fail together. It's not they're playing this little name game like, no, it was his fault. He did it. Not me. He did it. Like, you now have the authority just like, well, okay, screw it. You're both gone if you don't make the playoffs again and if things are not up to par of what you think this team is. 
once again, I think in house, they st- they think this is a Super Bowl window, and whether or not we think that or not, I think there is some debate to that now after the eight, seven and one. Maybe they just overachieved in twenty seventeen, but they do think it's a Super Bowl window. And obviously, if these guys aren't getting it done, then I think they will probably be fired. Um, I do think it's more about. I think the extension is more about making these two in just lockstep. They're just, you expire at the same time this guy does. And that doesn't really change things because, once again, if they fail, they're probably both fired. But if they succeed, they're probably both extended. And I think that's very good. Now, I would like to know what you guys think down in the comments below. I know this was kind of a short video and it came out a little late, but... Thank you for watching if you did. Until next time, I bid you all adieu.